bring up Cyberpunk 2077, which is probably the game we're looking forward to the most. Yeah. And uh, we're talking. We're kind of talking about what we'd like to see in it. I mean, I kind of have an idea what I'm probably going to see in it, but you know. But if they were going to, like, come to Tony and they were going to say, what do you want to see in this game, and your word is law, and they're going to make it, what do you want to see? Jesus Christ. For me, I think I think if it was left up to me, the w- number one thing I really want to see is I want them to capture the cyberpunk atmosphere. I want them to capture the atmosphere, the feeling, because I, I completely trust in their game mechanics and in their story because yeah. they killed it with Witcher 3. So I'm, I'm, I completely trust them in that. I mean, my my biggest fear is actually capturing that real cyberpunk feeling. I mean, we've looked at the concept art and stuff, and like with the, the concept art, the looks, leopard print jackets yeah. and the neon signs and stuff exactly. like that. Like, exactly, it, it needs like it needs hidden. to it needs to have that eighties flash with that dark grime yeah. slathered over it. You know what I mean? That's that's what cyberpunk is to me. And that's the thing is, I'm honestly I'm not really worried about that in a sense. The things that I would want to say that I want to see in it are things that I haven't seen yet. And we talked a little bit about they put up an ad for somebody who could uh, do the mechanics for vehicles and stuff like that. Yeah, I would love yeah. to see some uh, like Akira style street racing on fucking sport oh, bikes or something like that. Man, could you imagine having fucking street? Yeah, because I mean they had horse races in Witcher. Yeah. Could you imagine having like fucking bike race, like <sighs> underground bike races, or maybe the city even make it shit? like road rash style where you could kind of come up alongside Yo, somebody fucking and just beat knock them, off. them the fuck dude, off, and dude. That, I mean that's not that's not completely uh, impossible. I mean they had. Horse combat in Witcher, they could apply that yeah. same kind of mechanic over to bikes. Yeah, God, especially, could you imagine? Especially with the, the new Christ. expansion where they had like the little tournaments and stuff. You could do the jousting and stuff. Oh my God! Wait, wait, hold on. They have jousting in that DLC. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I haven't got to the DLC yet. Because oh, well, I'm a scumbag it. and I keep playing Rocket League. <laughs> Plus, Witcher Three takes such a long time. I'm not gonna play. With like some bullshit file that they let me. Play no, with, yeah. You know oh, you I'm can start off my... on level thirty-four. Yeah. No, th- I don't know that Geralt. Yeah. That's not my Geralt. I don't know him. But at the same He's time, a stranger. It's like, if I'm gonna burn through The Witcher Three to get that file, it's I'm not gonna be able to roll right into the DLC. No, like, fuck take no. I want to play. I want to go in there with my gear, yeah. with my Witcher, how I built him, the items that I have. Even with, even if I'm fucking broke, I want to roll in there with my Geralt. You know I don't else, know that other Geralt. You know what else I'd probably like to see would be like, uh, you remember the Matrix Online, their fighting style, like the hand-to-hand combat Fuck and yeah. stuff like that? That was the, Dude, that thing was that thing was ahead of its time at, yeah. at that time. With I would the, love to MMO. see some kind of like, uh, you know, hand-to-hand street combat. In that, maybe even like, like a fight club. That'd be pretty sweet. I mean, they kind of had that kind of same thing in The Witcher. Oh, yeah, they did. That, I mean, that's how I'm thinking is there. there's a lot of things that are going to port over from The Witcher to Cyberpunk. Yeah. And so when you bring up those things, I'm trying to see if they – and they, so they have something. It would just be something – it would be a mechanic that would have to be refined. Yeah. You know? I mean, they had they had that, you know, that underground boxing ring that you could yeah. be a part of. But, it, like, it was very – it was very shallow. Yeah, and you the know? thing is, is, like, there was a level cap for those, like, uh, jobs – but at the same time, I would never take a Witcher contract that was in red or had a skull next to it. Fuck no. But, uh, like, fighting? No, I could do that. Yeah, all, you have to, all you have to do is block and repost. Yeah. Like, that's all you had to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was, it was very watered down. There wasn't much to it. But, they, I mean, they've already went down that avenue. They could totally build. I mean, because the developers themselves have said Cyberpunk is going to be bigger than Witcher 3 in every conceivable way. Yeah. And so I can imagine any. Imagine you know vehicle combat, uh, vehicle transportation, uh, fight club fighting. I, I imagine they're going to branch all that out and expand on it. I I'm can excited to see have. what they're going to do with the armor too, because they were pretty creative in The Witcher Three with like the different Witcher sets. Except and for stuff fucking like New that. Game Plus. Yeah. Fucking New Game. <laughs> no, Plus. I just mean like originally how the Witcher armor looked and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of variation. Like I would love to see what they're going to do in that cyberpunk setting with the clothing and stuff that you're going to be wearing. Oh like, god, dude! I see, every time we talk about this game, it makes me. It's it's one of those games that like my imagination's running away with it, and then I don't want to play anything else. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't even care anymore. 